Greetings, my friends. Welcome back. It's a thrill and a delight to have you with us here on the one and only Excellence in Broadcasting Network, the Limbaugh Institute for Advanced Conservative Studies. And remember, as long as I am here, it doesn't matter where here is. I have just a couple of more audio sound bites on the uh, the riots. I don't know if we can call them race riots. That's you know I don't want to make too big a deal out of this, but these are really I mean you'd say they're race riots because African Americans are rioting, but this is um, you know you you have to look really hard here to find a racial component in this. I mean, really, in this. Unless they want to try to say that this is a result of Ferguson and the uh, phantom chokehold in New York and uh, whatever else. Uh, but that's not what this is. That's the one thing actually missing here. And what happened yesterday has nothing to do with, uh, with, with the police, like the, uh, the Freddie Gray thing ostensibly did. So the two separate things that have ignited Baltimore... And it's it doesn't it doesn't fit it doesn't fit the usual template, and so the left is having to work really hard here to position this. I mean, any time you know, you liberal Democrats run this show and they go out there, and they they blame no jobs, and they blame lousy education. I mean, they're blaming themselves. I mean, I, I've heard one local official in Baltimore, I've heard 10 of them say that these young black men don't have jobs. Well, you've got an African-American prison. Look, I can say all these obvious things. You run in the show. You have the power. That's the rubs. That's, that's really the conflicting thing for them. Because their advantage... Is really exists in the fact that they have grievances, that they're minorities, that they are the victims of power. They have the power here. They've got the power in every position, from the Oval Office on down. They have the power. And to try to portray the citizens of Baltimore as victims is a tough thing to do because they would then have to indict themselves. So while they're going to run around and bellyache about these young black men who don't have jobs. At the same time, they support flooding the market with millions of illegals granted amnesty and uh, registering them as Democrat voters. And they're going to be the new minority, by the way. The Hispanics, there's already a battle going on between various minority groups to be the most favored minority group. In the, uh, in the Democrat Party. Make no mistake, there's some friction here with Obama seemingly caring mostly, if not only, about the Hispanics, the illegals. So, lack of education, lack of opportunity. Uh, describing the problems in Baltimore, but nobody notes that Baltimore has been run by liberals for years, one of these guys was on, I think it was, uh, I don't know where he was, Fox News or something last, I don't know, city councilman by the name of, um, oh, what's his name, I can't, Leland Vitter was, was the Fox reporter, black Baltimore city councilman, about the lack of opportunity in Baltimore. This is what I mean. He's on television and he's whining and moaning, but there's no opportunity. And a racism issue is raised. It's what? Racism. And then I came to realize it doesn't matter who runs, say, a population, city population, majority of blacks. It doesn't matter who runs it because there's systemic racism. It's in the American system. And it doesn't matter whether we have a black president, black mayor. Black city council, black police police commissioner, they're still oppressed by the systemic racism that exists in them. I'm telling you, these people are never going to have a chance. These people rioting and protesting, and I'm talking about the legitimate, not the rent-a-mob. 
and not these people bust and flown in from out of town by George Soros. But I mean, the people that really are ticked off, whatever, however few or many of them there are, they don't have a prayer. They are never going to come close to realizing their human potential as long as they vote Democrat. It is impossible. It just will not happen. I mentioned I, I looked at a list of uh, Baltimore mayors. The last 68 years, the last 68 years, all mayors except one were liberal Democrats. There was a mayor of 1963 to 1967 who was not liberal. Two of these liberal Democrat mayors were Thomas L.J. D'Alessandro Jr. and Thomas J. or L.J. D'Alessandro III. They were, respectively, the father and brother of Nancy Pelosi. And they were Lib Democrats, and they ran Baltimore. You know what else I did? I didn't do it. I had a friend of mine uh, that did some research last night and sent it to me. He went back and looked at the news, primarily in the New York Times, following the uh, Rodney King riots in 1992. During the 1992 Los Angeles riots, Bill Clinton you know, was, was running and campaigning for, uh, for president. And he was pounding repeatedly, and even after he was uh, elected, Bill Clinton, all throughout the L.A. riots, was pounding repeatedly that the riots in L.A. were the failure of Reagan and Bush. That Reagan and Bush had been in power for so long and that they had failed for so long that those years of failure and destitution, whatever they wanted to chalk them up as, had produced the riot. So Clinton went to Los Angeles to address the rioters, much as he went to Oklahoma City. And in every one of the, there are four New York Times stories here from uh, the day of just one Clinton story from the day. And throughout, Clinton, and the point is, Clinton is blaming Reagan and Bush for what happened in 1992 in the riots. Now, the reason my friend sent me this is because if, if we wanted to act in a similar way, we could run out and say, this is the fault of Obama. This is the fault of Obama. And by the way, you could do that with some credibility. You go back to 2007, 2008, the campaign, and as I mentioned earlier, you ask some people why they voted for the guy. And some of them will tell you they voted for only one reason, to show that they weren't racist and to hopefully end all this racial strife by voting for a black guy and showing everybody else that they weren't racist. And, if it were even possible, showing that the country isn't racist. Because so many people for so long have been so fed up with that baseless charge that they didn't care about anything else. Just the fact that they had a chance to vote for an African-American for president was going to solve the problem. Once and for all, it was too big a gift to pass up. Don't care about Obama being a liberal. I don't care about his policies, they said. I don't care what he intends to be. He's black, and we need to show that we're not racist, and I'm going to do it, and a country can show it's not racist. How'd that work out for everybody? Policies matter, ideology matters, um, and all this chaos helps advance the liberal Democrat agenda. Oh, yeah, I've got this. I better save this for maybe even another day. Let me take a brief uh, time out. There's other stuff in the news besides this. In fact, there's a, there's a whole Clinton stack here. You know, I better get to it. I am, I am not going to fall prey to the media trick of having this totally dominate the news cycle on this program at the expense of everything else that the Democrats are doing out there. 
So we'll come back, take a few calls, and mix some of this other stuff in before we finish today.